Welcome back my vibrant beauties. Welcome if you're new. It's your girl Letty here and today we're going to do a summer makeup 2021 becoming that girl. Um, I want to do like a cook. Mm, I can't even talk a glowy type of bronzy look for dark skin. So let's get right into it. First, I'm going to start off with my if anybody knows, you know, it's that Jack Black um intense therapy lip balm and it's shea butter and vitamin e this is that one they also have a ginger one a lemongrass one you know they just have i think it's a mint one too but this one has spf of 25 in it and i'm just going to use that to hydrate my lips before we get started now that that is completed we're going to go in with my milk makeup hydro grip primer this is my favorite so you all i'm using my new setup i'm so excited um i'm using my new microphone i'm using my new um lens and if you all don't know what i'm talking about go see my amazon haul my huge amazon haul um i will link it in the description box below or i put it in the card i'm gonna start off with using two of my faves well they're the same thing but two different shades this is the jua high essentials or high coverage liquid concealer essential high well, you know what i'm saying it's the concealer from jua and it is these and they are in the shade amber and coffee I'm going to take amber and color correct. Now amber has a bit more of like a, a orangey type of undertone. So I use this to color correct. Do any spot treatments as well because your girl breaking out for a while and got, got to put it on the stash. You know what I'm saying? Going to take my Morphe M173 brush this little domey brush and get into it so we're just gonna press that in not moving the product too much around but press it in I'm like so excited to be using this I'm kind of nervous too because you can hear all these like horror stories when people get like wireless microphones for their camera and forget to turn it on so i don't want to be talking and <laughs> yeah have that issue because then i'll be pissed off but like i spent two hundred dollars or however how much this was <laughs> and it's not working you know what i'm saying that will piss me off see how that just melted in and if you hear music People don't want to do anything until I start filming. It's craziness out here in these streets. In these streets. I'm, I'm going to use coffee. Now, I kind of do my one layer foundation method still. Um, and kind of don't. So. I put these in the places that it needs to go. like that and then I honestly let this sit and then I actually go in with some liquid I'm gonna use the rare beauty Lu liquid luminizer in flaunt so it's this shade right here such a pretty shade to be honest I'm actually gonna just dab it on the back of my hand to warm it up and put these on the high put this on the highest points of my cheeks before we put on foundation. Now normally I would go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush our Hollywood Flawless Filter, but I, I used this once and I really, really liked it. So you see how it like gives the skin a sheen. So, and that's like literally using nothing 
Um, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. Yeah, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. And then go in with, oops, the Charlotte Tilbury also. I'm mix them to together. The Airbrush Flawless Foundation um, in the shade 14 Neutral. So I honestly just mix them in and call it a day while that is still kind of like sitting on my skin, you know what I'm saying? And I take a paw brush. So this is the Morphe M707 and 3 fourths. So it's like this paw brush, cat's paw, and I mix them together. And then I just go on my skin like so. Also, don't be afraid to get those ears so everything is blended. And I do like to start kind of in the center of the face. Sometimes I'll start like right here, like you just saw, but I do like to start in the center of the face, like the center of the cheeks, and then blend outward. Cause usually your cheeks are what um, need the most foundation. That's where you kind of have the most discoloration the majority of the time it's not all the time before my concealer sets i kind of go in not kind of i go in and blend out the edges See, oh, such a flawless situation going on. And then because this hairline is not looking right, I just go in with whatever is left on my paddle brush and like blend it into my hairline. Cause you're not gonna catch me slipping, okay? I also go on the sides of my nose Like so. Gotta be looking cute around these parts, you know? And then with my beauty blender, actually this is my beauty egg <laughs> from Beauty Bakery. I love her sponges. Like if you have not shopped there, oh my gosh, like it's so fluffy, so soft. It, it blends like a dream. And I just go over everything. Make sure everything is blended seamlessly together. Like, go down these parts, go down here, go over there, go up here. <laughs> like, just blend, honey, a blend. And if you see something that catches your eye, Everything is all about blending. If you're going to become that girl, listen, don't be caught out here slipping with unblended foundation. Now that that is blended all together, I'm going to take my Morphe um, Dimension FX Contour Stick in the shade FX, Pound FX 18 and contour my face. So I'm going from the top. I learned this from watching Ash K. Holmes. She's a celebrity makeup artist and she also has a YouTube channel here on YouTube. <laughs> so she starts from the top of the ear instead of where other people start. And this like really lifts up. And I just go along my hairline like so. And then I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose, kind of bring it in like so. I would do my triple chin down here, but oh well. So I take this BH Cosmetics Fluffy Angled Brush and that's what I use to like blend out 
my contour I use this brush again for my bronzer because why use multiple brushes when you can use one and we're gonna get into that hairline honey like sound like I'm beating my face <laughs> hence the term beating your face when you do makeup cuz you actually are you hear that brush <laughs> and then whatever is left over I'll just go down I'm not gonna do too much you know what I'm saying and then I'm gonna take the smaller version of that brush which is another BH cosmetics brush this and use that to blend out my nose contour ooh she snatched honey she is snatched honey whose nose is that bruh <laughs> then I'm gonna go back over everything with my beauty egg Make sure everything is blended, honey. We don't need no issues around these parts, okay? None. So I'm gonna set, I'm just gonna make sure there's no creases. Set my under eyes. Using the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. And using one of these like little makeup sponges. I don't like the ones that feel like they have like a film over them or something. I like to pat access and get in there, like in there. Like. And I love how you can fold this up so you can really get close to your lash line. And before we go on to setting the rest of our face, I'm going to use the, I think I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty, I think this is their liquid blush in the shade Joya, Joya, Joy. <laughs> and it's like this really pretty, what's the like corally color? And you literally do not need that much of this at all, at all. I'm gonna take another BH Cosmetics brush. This is the 126 brush. And just go in the places where I want that blush to sit. Like so. Like, uh, you see that? Oh my gosh. Like I said, I literally did not even really touch my my skin and that's how much color how much pigment you get so a little bit right here too and take my beauty egg and blend it out all right I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty soft matte powder foundation in the shade 410 and set the rest of my face it looks like this color right here it's a pretty color and I'm gonna take my morphe e63 brush and that's how I'm gonna set the rest of my face I literally just go in I kind of skip over the spots that I use um, the contour on because I'm going to set that later anyway. Make sure you get around your nose because that's where it, your foundation usually separates. And then with my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, I'm going to kind of bake everywhere I put my concealer. I love this translucent powder because it is like sets without drying like it's not a dry powder it gives you like this veil <laughs> it's like um 
like a little bit of sheen to it almost but I like to bake with it especially while I am doing my eyes and I don't bake for long on my like nose and forehead because why we want to make sure the under eyes don't move you know going to do my eyebrows and then we'll be back and I'll scooch you all closer so we can do the eyes now that the eyebrows are done I'm gonna wipe off in the center of my face let's use this brush this is an elf brush it's a pointer fat powder brush and I'm just gonna just wipe down the center of my face because it's not needed anymore but my eyes they gonna stay out <laughs> I'm going to take my NARS soft matte um, complete concealer and clean up my eyebrows and use that as a primer for my eye um, my eyeshadow this is what the color looks like I'm gonna take a Luxie flat definer brush it's a 221 brush and the concealer is kind of honestly like my skin tone I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier honey powder, the translucent powder that we used earlier to set under our eyes. I'm going to use that to set the, the concealer. Make sure it's not creased up. Creased up. It won't fix it now. I'm going to take this Milk Cosmetics brush. I forgot what it's called because it fell off but it came in like uh, the PR pack of the I think it's it was one of their collections today we're gonna use the Natasha Denona Zendo palette and here it has a bunch of fingerprints on it <laughs> but here are the colors so these are the colors such a pretty palette and I might 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 dip into the chocolate brown palette by Huda Beauty this palette right here and it looks like this because it might like this palette might not have the color I'm looking for so I'm actually going to dip into the Hooded Beauty palette and choose this color right here. And that's going to be like my transition color to go into my crease. And we're going to go like directly in the crease with this brush. Yeah, this is giving what it's supposed to give. And I'm like being sloppy with it. I'm not trying to um care basically yeah i'm just placing it anywhere i'm not like really caring just being really sloppy with it now you can choose lighter browns for your skin tone this is the brown that works with my skin tone so if you wear my original shade in fenty is 420 but with the powder um, or the matte foundation, it kind of seems like that one, you have to go down in a color because it gives, I mean like, I, I don't know if it oxidizes really, really, but it really does on my skin. And I've seen other reviews that say the same thing. So, but yeah, so that is that. So we're gonna go into the darker color in this palette right here. It's a deep brown. 
and I'm gonna choose another brush because I really want to get into my crease like really really I'm gonna choose a morphe m513 brush and we're gonna use that to like really get in like get into the crease I want to get the outer corner and the inner corner as well because I'm kind of creating like a spotlight eye a little bit, to be honest. And then going back in with the other one and just buffing out the edges with whatever is left on the brush. I'm not dipping back into the pan right now. I might dip back into it later, but for right now, we're just using what is left on the brush. And with that same first shade, that first, that lighter brown, I'm actually going to take a Morphe M210 brush. That's this brush right here. And I'm going to go under my eye with it because, you know, got to start it off right. And then just on the outer edge, going to go in with that deeper color. And then with um, balance from the Zendo palette, the Natasha Denona palette, which is this middle shade right here, I'm gonna go almost towards my um, brow bone, like really blend all those colors together, like fuse them. And then with the color Aura, which is this nice orangey color right here, we're going to put that in the center. So I'm at first going to use my fingers to just put it on and just place it. Mm. Yes, I kind of not like being precise with it at all. To blend that even more, I'm going to go back in with that first brush and just go over everything. And then with that Morphe M210, I'm gonna take that, that same shade and go on my lower lash line in the center, like right here. And then to like brighten that up a little bit more, I'm gonna go with Yama or Yama from the T Natasha Denola palette, which is this color right here. And like go in the center of that color to just brighten it up a little bit more. Like so. Subtlety, man. Subtlety. Okay? Subtlety. It's giving what it's supposed to give, okay? And because I'm not being too dramatic, I'm gonna go in with Morphe's Trendsetter and set under my eyes. Not set under my eyes, but this is my lower lash liner if I can get my life together and then I'm actually going to take that same color and like line my top kind of messy with it and then go in with that same like shader brush and just not even put any product on it just Shade that bad boy out, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put on mascara after I spray my skin because your girl, you will not be catching me out here slipping, okay? So I'm just curling my lashes, prepping them for mascara and falsies. We're gonna wipe the bake under our eyes away. Really falling in love with my Juvia's Place bronzed bronzer in the dark palette and I usually take this top one right here and bronze up my skin so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna use that elf brush and just go in and really bronze up my skin because this brush I don't know it's like 
This kind of reminds me of my blush brush from the Jaclyn Hill collection. It really does. Yes, yeah, give me all the feels. And then for blush, going to take the Juvia's Place Blushed Volume 1 palette and take like this orangey shade right here and use my Jaclyn Hill um, JH06 brush and get in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, really. Like, look how well it just, just distributes. I, I love that. And this is a good blush one for dark, deeper skin tones because it's like an orangey color, like a corally color. Let me go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo and I'm probably gonna take Mo Honey. Yeah, Mo, Mo Honey, which is this color right here. And using my Morphe, M510 brush. I'm just gonna really go in and like, yeah. I barely touched this, like, wow. Yo. Looking like a glazed donut. Now I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is my like favorite mascara at the moment. I used to be so much on like my favorite one before, and it's still a good one, was the um, Ginseng, the Origins Ginseng Mascara. That one right there is really good. Um, also, who else? The Too Faced Better Than Sex was my jam for a while. The Benefit They're Real were, was my jam for a while. Actually, we're gonna go in with Luster for the inner corner. This color right here. And we're gonna go in the inner corner of the eye. Yes. Yes, that's given what it's supposed to give. I'm actually gonna drag it down like right here too. Like I know Natasha Denona palettes are very expensive, but if you have the chance to get them, please do. They're so buttery and good and everything else. I'm going to put on um, Lily Lashes Barcelona. They look like these. I'm gonna put those on and then I'll be back. While my lashes are actually drying, what I'm gonna do is take a fluffy brush. This is a, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH34 brush. And take the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter. And I feel like I can just Ooh, ooh. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I need a little bit more. And it is okay if it gets on your cheeks because you know what I'm saying? Glow ups. Glow up, sis. <laughs> Glow up. I'm gonna go in with the trendsetter that I used on my eyes and line my lips because the good thing about this color pencil is it's a color pencil. Well, there are no rules in makeup. You can use your lip liner for anything you want. You can use your eyeliner for anything you want. I remember back in high school, in year of I used um, a black eye liner pencil 
<laughs> to be honest, just saying. I think I'm going to take, I don't know if I want to do muted or toffee. Let's try toffee. I don't think I've tried toffee. This is the Juvia's Place lipstick. And this is toffee and this is how it looks. Kind of almost remind me of Max um, Whirl or toffee as well. I'm doing my lashes now. <laughs> and then I'll be back to show you the final look. You know what? She did forgot to spray her face. So let me spray her, my face with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this setting spray, yo. This is the final look. Let me know what you all think. Let me know if you all try this look out and the products that you use. You can use whatever products that work for you. You do not have to use the products that I use on myself. Um, there are drugstore products, there are, you know, affordable products. I use the mixture, but you can definitely use all drugstore, all affordable whatever you feel like you need to do to achieve this look and i am lo loving it okay oh. please let me know what you all think in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and now i'm going to be i'm definitely becoming that girl because first with the huge <laughs> summer clothing haul and now this makeup girl i'm ready to step out it's your girl letty and i'm out peace